And that is a victory and a quick and sudden end to that bout. It brings us to the 11th bout on the draw sheet. It is again a men's light heavyweight contest. This will be between Uzbekistan and Brazil. The Uzbeki boxer in the red corner coming in first. His name is Elshad Rasulev, 25 years old. 186 centimeters tall, boxes for Club Fergana out of Fergana, Uzbekistan. He's coached by Mansour Mamudov. And now making his way, well, let's just take a quick look to Mick Bossy, the referee from England for this bout. He'll be your third man in the ring controlling the action. And uh, the judges, Siagwan, Brahm, Zooks, Just, and Carrillo will be counting the punches from ringside. And again, the uh, blue corner, who's actually already in the ring first, he is Yamaguchi Falco Florentino from Brazil. He's 23 years old. So there you have it, Rasulov and Falcao. Rasulov has an impressive amateur pedigree. We could start by the 2007 World Senior Championships in Chicago. That's this event four years ago. He lost at the 75 kilogram weight class. He was a little lighter back then. Understandable. He lost to Arginus Nunez from the Dominican Republic. Uh, KO in the fourth round, or the fourth, uh, excuse me, a KO in the third round. However, in 2008, he had a ticket to the Summer Olympic Games in Beijing, where he lost to Emilio Correa from Cuba, 9-7 in the quarterfinals. And he was here at the AIBA World Championship event in Milan in 2009, where he came in second place with a loss to Arthur Berbepiev. So two world championships and an Olympic game to his credit, not to mention first place at the Asian Games last year. Make Elshad Rasulev quite the boxer in this tournament. On the other hand, Florentino, no slouch. He was the 2006 Aiba Junior World Champion, a first Pan American Olympic qualifier in 2008. He was a senior champion bronze medalist in the 2009 Pan American Games. Yeah, Aiba President's Cup right here in Baku. He got the bronze in 2009. And let's not forget that he is a member of the World, Bo World Series of Boxing, Aiba's new and exciting professional style boxing league. So Florentino for Brazil in the blue corner, Rasulov for Uzbekistan in the red corner. And as we are Watching the first round of this action, we are here at the Haydar Ali of Sports Complex in Baku, Azerbaijan. This is the 16th World Championships. I am Castle Chalice, Stop. and a chopping right hand by Florentino. And Rasulov lets the referee do his job and separate them, put a stop to that. A left hand by Rasulov, boxing out of the southpaw style is Rasulov. Those are right to the belly. Pulls without much power, much wallop. And now Rashilov pushes his man back a little bit. A left hand to the body by Rashilov, scores to the belly, and now a left hand upstairs is blocked by Florentino. Right left combination by Rashilov and Florentino looking to get into his rhythm. Looking for an opportunity. There's a right hand to the face, but seems a little disappointed with the way, the way that landed and sort of walked away from that exchange with his hands down. Left hand by Rasulev. A nice ripping right and a left and a right. A three-punch body shot combination by Rasulev. All with effective authority to the midsection of the Brazilian. Yamaguchi Falco Florentino. Right to the body by Rasulov. Showing some good, good stewardship in there. Seems very mindful, a very thoughtful boxer. He looks like he's trying to think his way to a game plan. Looking for that opening. 
before he throws it, deciding where he wants to punch and then executing. Rasula very fast. Not just his hands, but his feet and his body. He seems to be very well balanced, is Rasulov. He's got a nice wide stance. Gives him a nice solid foundation for throwing his punches and also for being quick to react to anything that Falco throws his way. Now Falco comes in with his head down. And that's the end of round number one. We should see a score in just a moment. A fairly close one. And now you see some rabbit punching by the Brazilian. The referee is going to certainly caution that. There won't be any shenanigans like that allowed. The referee and the judges here for Aiba are all third star world class. They're the best trained officials and judges that Aiba has to offer, and they are good and accurate. Five to three, Rasulov over Falco at the end of round number one. So we've seen some game boxing by both of these participants here, and the referee is going to bring them to scratch here for the second round. This is a men's light heavyweight round 16 bout. Rasulov in the red corner from Uzbekistan, Florentino in the blue from Brazil. Rashilov fires away with a piston-like jab, one, two, three times, then a left hand downstairs. Seems like he's got a very good game plan, does Rashilov. It's keep the pressure on, keep the punches hard, keep the jab effective, and wait for your opportunity. And it will come. That's how it comes. You create your own opportunities in this sport. They don't just happen. You have to create them. And Rashilov seems more than willing to wait for his opportunity, and he looks very, very well equipped to capitalize on it when he sees it. There's a left hand down to the to the rib cage by Rashilov, and Rashilov does a good job there turning. You notice how Rashilov pivots and turns. He doesn't necessarily have to retreat or move away. He just simply has to turn his body enough to keep Falco guessing, to keep guessing which way he's going to turn, to keep guessing where his punches are going to come from next, and to ultimately do his business. And you can see right there Rashilov throwing nice rights to the body followed by a left overhand to the head. That one sails over the head of the Brazilian but the Brazilian, not to be denied, continues to press the action and it seems to fall right into the game plan of Rashilov. Seems very comfortable being a counterpuncher in this instance. Nice sharp right hand by Rashilov, snuck in the guard and landed on the jaw of Falco. Falco's going to have to keep those hands up and keep that guard tight because this Rashilov is accurate. Right. Now they lock up in the center. There's a minute left to go in this round. Right hand by Rasulov. And there's a left hand by the Brazilian boxer, which doesn't quite find its mark. And now he's bobbing and weaving. You know, the Brazilian boxer needs to get more active. He was down in the first round. He'll likely be down in the second if the first was any indication. And he's just not throwing enough punches. He seems to be somewhat confused by this matrix of a boxer that is Rasulov, and understandably so. He's in there against a top, top-ranked amateur. However, Rasulov needs to figure something out. He needs to start throwing more punches. Why? Because there is one more round left to decide his fate as it pertains to the London Olympics next summer. If he doesn't get it here, he may be able to catch a shot at the, uh, the continental qualifier, which Brazil will no doubt have. However, who knows if he'll be able to participate in that. For a number of reasons, he may not get another chance. This may be the last chance this young man gets to compete in an Olympic Games. The dream of all amateur boxers and 
understandably so. So with that being said, Yamagi Yamaguchi Falco Florentino must throw more punches than he's ever thrown in his life. He actually did a little better in that round. He kept Rasulov to a one-point lead as opposed to a two-point lead in the first round. However, when you add one and two, that makes three, and that's what gives the Uzbeki boxer a three-point lead going into this third and final round. 11 to eight, Rasulov over Florentino. It's not an insurmountable task. It's not something that the Brazilian can't overcome. But will he be able to? Well, now you start to see him throwing some punches here, more so than he had in rounds one or two, and down goes Florentino. From a little roughhousing, maybe a little bit of tired, uh, tiredness on the part of the Brazilian. A lot of nerves, a lot of anxiety leading up to this event. Chopping left hand by Rasulov. A nice ripping left hand to the rib cage by Rasulov. That's a beautiful punch. You know, he's been throwing it for much of the fight, and he seems to be able to throw it whenever he wants. Uh, it just, it's as if Falco or Fal Florentino doesn't have an answer for it. I mean, it is a tough punch to block because even if your elbows are in tight as they ought to be, based on the way that Rasulov is moving, he seems to be able to get around that. So, you know, Falco needs to keep circling. He needs to keep his hands a little tighter. But more importantly, he needs to stop throwing more punches. So what? He throws his punch. He exposes himself. He's going to be open to some counter punching. Well, you know what? That's his only chance right now. You've got to take some to give some. And there's only two minutes left. So what are you going to do, Falco? Are you going to keep punching? Are you going to put it all on the line? Are you going to risk everything? Let's see. Let's see if Yamaguchi Falco Florentino has enough in the tank here as Rasulov knows what he's got. He's got a nice lead going into this round. He's got the experience and the skill level to pull this off. And he seems to have plenty of energy in the tank as well. And he also seems like he could score at will. There's a nice left-right combination, that right rip to the body, but here comes a left by the Brazilian. That one may have scored him a point. Now Rashilov just doing what he needs to here. No need to put himself in harm's way. He just needs to win now. He needs to stay out of harm's way. Right. A nice right to the body by Rashula, uh, excuse me, by Falco. Probably scored him a point, but he's gonna need more than a point at this at this point in the match. Now there's just a lot of posturing in the center of the ring. Neither man is really throwing. There's a right hand by Falco. Chopping right hand to the temple of Rasulov. And as the clock winds down to the final moments, both boxers continue to wrestle. It may serve Rasulov's needs. It won't serve Falco's any as this clock will now tick away into the books of history. And we should be getting a score. Rasulov puts his arm up an apparent victory as he goes back to his corner, as that's what he's likely earned himself, a slot in the 2012 Olympic Games, as well as a shot at competing on. Now to the semifinals, which will take place tomorrow, right here at the Haydar Ali of Sports Complex in Baku, Azerbaijan. Again, tomorrow will be the quarterfinals where the uh, boxers will compete for a shot at the semifinals. And the winner, Arashulov, by a, a victory margin of 17 to 12, will move on to the quarters. And Yamaguchi Florentino, good job. You did what you could with the, the, the tools you've been given and you showed good heart. Not enough to get it done tonight. Not that you didn't have enough heart. Didn't have enough skills, perhaps. Perhaps today wasn't your day. However, Rashilov was the better man. Congratulations.
the both boxers for getting this far and for much continued success in their amateur careers. We could see here from the replay what had happened, as was the case for much of the fight, or the bout rather, was that the Brazilian just could not figure out a way to penetrate the defensive and offensive juggernaut 